Hey guys, today we get to look at the unstable lands and I'm assuming each pack will have one of these and they look very beautiful. I think they will hold their value. So what you're actually looking at is unstable lands. This is what they will look like. This is not like a digital rendition or a proxy of it. This is the actual land. So when you deal with the full art of the land, yeah, they are definitely very, very beautiful looking. And I do feel like they will have a ton of value in the future uh, just because of how unique it is. And when you look at, when you compare the full art lands from unglued and unhinged, unhinged in particular is quite pricey. It never stopped going up no matter how many full art lands were in Amarket or Battle for Zendikar. Now everyone is used to full art lands. That's just the norm now. Everyone has as many of them from Amarket as they wanted as many of them from Battle for Zendikar as they needed, and as well as O for the Gatewatch with the full art waste. Now these are, more, in my opinion, more beautiful. Uh, the Guru lands is kind of what I'm going to compare the premium basic land to. They can get up to 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars because they are very good looking. These, in my opinion, are as equally good looking. So th again, that's my opinion. I know that's gonna offend everyone who has the $400 Guru lands, but I like them. Um, are the Judge Promo lands. These in foil, I mean, just look at the layout. They should have done this earlier, but the layout is quite beautiful. I think overall that they did a fantastic job hitting a home run on this one, because this is where all the value is gonna come from. By definition, if you are going to open an unstable box, you're probably not going to get much value from it because where is it going to come from? Like, no one wants to buy those cards. It's kind of funny to draft, kind of funny to maybe play a sealed event. But overall, it's just kind of funny. It's not valuable. Well, just like its predecessors with unhinged and unglued, the value is coming straight from these cards. And that is the beauty of the set, it's guaranteed value. It's absolutely guaranteed value. Uh, you don't, you can have fun with it and not feel too bad because at the end of the day, everyone gets a, to go home with a land or a bunch of land and perhaps, perhaps a very beautiful foil land. So I think they knocked it out of the park. These lands had to be so different from Amaket and Battle for Zenikar and Unhinged and Unglued to really cement their value had these lands been just kind of met, then no one would buy the product or very much less people would buy the product because it would be, hey, I'm paying $4 for a pack that I know I'm guaranteed that the card contents on this pack are 50 cents or less. Here, you know, a foil one of these, if you take unglued on, or, sorry, unhinged, if you take unhinged, a foil unhinged can go $40 easy, $50, $80 easy, depending on the type of land. Here, initially probably not true, but I feel like they can go for $20 at least and they will be in high demand because this high demand, low volatility, the only volatility is in if you got a foil one, a foil land, but everyone gets a land, so you're good to go. Uh, buying singles, I don't think there'll be that big of a price gap between singles and this because there is, it's known. When you look at unglued, you have a few cards worth a little bit more than the worth the value of the pack right now today. Uh, Black of Lotus, Jack and the Mox, a few of those cards, and then in unhinged, most of your value is in foil cards with secret foils like uh, Garfield PhD, Richard Garfield PhD, and Time Jump or something like that. Uh, Mox, Mox Lotus with the infinite. A symbol in the foil. Anyway, that is it. Pretty exciting news. A lot of stuff is going on. Anyway, bye guys.